Hey, this is Mrs. Reichelt, and next up, our topic is going to cover the anatomy of a long bone. So before we actually get into writing down all the definitions, let's go ahead and look at a diagram first. Um, so you'll see that the bone, the, the anatomy or the long bone is going to be separated into a couple of different little things. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The first is the epiphysis. This is the segment up here, and the epiphysis really is, are the ends of the bone. Okay, so the ends of a long bone are the epiphysis, and it's made up of spongy bone. In addition, surrounding the epiphysis is a articular cartilage. Okay, articular cartilage is different from what's going to surround the other parts of the bone. So be aware that if it's the epiphysis, it's made up of spongy bone, and it's going to be surrounded or covered by articular cartilage. Then we have this space right in here, the epiphyseal line or the epiphyseal plate if it's a growing bone. And at the same time, we have one that's down here as well. You just can't see it because it's covered. Um, but that's the same. It, you'll see that line in each section. Same with um, this is an, um, another picture of that as well down there. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Um, the diaphysis is going to be make up the length of the bone and it's made up of mostly, where is it right here? Compact bone. Uh, the Instead of the epiph um, epiphysis is made up of articular cartilage, this now is going to be surrounded by periosteum. And we also have some blood flow in here. And I, oh, in the center, we have the medullary cavity, which contains our yellow or red bone marrow. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the more um, detailed sections here. So the um, diaphysis is also the shaft of the bone. It's composed of compact bone, and it's going to make up bone length, and it's protected by the periosteum. Don't worry about this word right now, just write it down. We're actually going to define it in a couple of slides. Uh, then second up, we have the epiphysis. This makes up the ends of the bone, and it's composed mostly of spongy bone. It also um, contains a thin layer of compact bone as well. All right, so moving right along here, we have the periosteum. The periosteum is an outside covering of the diaphysis. It's made up of a fibrous connective tissue membrane. What connects the periosteum to the actual um, underlying bone is this structure called the Sharpe's fibers, or sometimes it's the perforating fibers. Those are the same thing, by the way, so you can use those interchangeably. Uh, so the purpose of the perforating fibers is that they secure the periosteum to the underlying bone, and they're made up of connective tissue, uh, connective fibers. And then you have arteries, which are, the purpose of that is to supply the bone cells with nutrients. Okay, so the articular cartilage, do you remember where that's at? Hopefully you remember that it, that's on the that covers the ends of the bone or that um, covers the epiphysis. So this covers the external surface. Um, it's made up of hyaline cartilage, and it's there to decrease friction at joint surfaces. Then the um, epiphyseal plate is where bone is growing. So the growth of the bone is going to occur at the epiphyseal plate, and then. The epiphyseal line is the remnants of the plate, and you'll see that in adult bone. So once bone stops growing, then um, that growth plate will turn into a line. And our last little topic for the day, um, the medullary cavity. This is the cavity inside the shaft, and it contains yellow marrow or red marrow. So yellow marrow is mostly going to be fat deposits. And you'll see this most often in adults. And 
Red Marrow it will be red obviously um, and this is a site for blood cell formation and you'll see this in um, young children and infants. So let's go ahead and look at one more picture here and hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. So here we have our nutrient arteries, our blood supply. In here we have our yellow marrow which could be red if it was just a different diagram. We have our compact bone right here. We have our perforating fibers here. Okay, We have our periosteum, that's our outer covering, and let's see, what else did I, I guess this part right here is the um, medullary cavity, which contains the yellow bone marrow, and I hope that you found that anatomy of a long bone hopefully easy, if not, make sure you watch the video again.